Battle Metals Limited, exploring for nickel in the heart of Cambelda. We've had two important announcements out this morning. Uh, interestingly, either end of the, the exploration process, we updated the market on our Baker drilling, where we're drilling out the indicator resource, hopefully to a measured status. And then at the very early stage of exploration, uh, we updated the market on the Long South Gap, which is the very furthest drill holes uh, in an area immediately adjacent to the famous Cambalda Dome, one of the world's, definitely Australia's most prolific nickel belts. So the very first time, unbelievably, uh, that anyone has drilled some deep holes in that area. So we updated the market on that. Early stage, very encouraging, at Long South Gap. Uh, and again, at the other end of the process, Baker uh, put out some spectacular hits, 12.7, uh, uh, over 7%, 14 metres at 4.7%. Uh, and 14 metres at nearly 6.5%. So pretty good grades. Uh, obviously, it's not great times in the nickel space in terms of sentiment. So it was a timely reminder, as we said uh, in the announcement, grade is king. Uh, when the price uh, is weak, obviously, the higher the grade, the better the margin. Uh, and Baker is pretty unique in that respect. It has a number of very positive characteristics uh, that we'll be looking to uh, factor into our studies. And, and we're busy updating uh, PFS, both at Baker, uh, which we put out last year in May, uh, but we're incorporating Foster where we have uh, another uh, set of mineral resources available from a historical decline. So exciting times. Uh, as I said, it's kind of interesting bookends to the exploration process, something really advanced, uh, really well understood. And then at the other end, something equally encouraging, but very early days. Next steps with Long South Gap. Uh, we've announced to the market that we completed a 3D seismic survey. It costs approximately about a million dollars. Uh, that's been done. We're working on the analysis of that 3D survey. Uh, again, it's in this area that's never been tested before. Uh, that will generate a whole series of high priority targets, we think. Uh, and it's out on the Salt Lake in Cambalda. So we're building causeways to enable us to uh, get the surface draw rig out on the lake and test those targets in due course. Uh, if not at the end of this quarter, certainly at the start of next quarter. Uh, and then Baker has to say it's factoring into a pre-feasibility study. Uh, and importantly, Baker has got, like I said, some very positive characteristics, extremely high grade, as we've shown with the drilling this morning, very close to the surface, starts within 70 metres of surface. So unlike a lot of the deposits in Camelda that start a long way down, uh, Baker is very shallow. Uh, and then it's also right next door to an old historic gold open pit, only 400 metres odd uh, from that pit. So we've got a ready access point. Uh, Baker and all of our tenements are all granted mining leases. So very low very limited uh, steps on the regulatory side to get approval. Uh, so notwithstanding that the nickel price is a little bit depressed at the moment, Baker has got this amazing, what we call spring capacity. We can start Baker at any time of our choosing and make sure that we can get there quickly and maximize the value of Baker for our shareholders. Well, I would love to have hit something at Long South Gap. Uh, I think if we hit anything significant, that is clearly a new deposit, not just an extension of an existing known deposit. Uh, I think that could be a company making event for London and metals. So again, at the very early stage of exploration, uh, discovery is obviously the uh, the massive value adding exercise. You had nothing, and then you find something that's the biggest step in value you can possibly have. Uh, with Baker at the other end of the spectrum, I'd like to, it to be permitted. I'd like to understand uh, the financial criteria under which it makes most money for, for the company and for its shareholders, uh, and to have that sitting on the shelf, ready to go at a moment's notice when hopefully this the current malaise in the nickel market uh, turns around.